people told me down there that, you know, I was pursuing the wrong direction as far as uh, where I spent most of my time. And if any of you have ever been to Nashville, I spent most of my time on Lower Broadway, and everybody's like, that's no place to get discovered. You know? <laughs> but, you know, that was a different life then, too. You know, I will say that Dolores made uh, a complete change in this man's life. I'm not that man anymore, but I was. And that's part of his testimony. Um, you know, that when I, when I left, and went to Nashville in 89. Uh, there is a song called 16th Avenue. If any of you have heard it, I'm not going to sing that song. But, you know, it says, With a million dollar spirit and an old black top guitar, they drive through town with all they own in a hundred dollar car. Well, I'll tell you what, that was me. Because I had a hundred dollar pickup truck when I left that I bought from my brother in law. And I had an old beat up guitar. And as much as I remember, when I got to Nashville, I had about $24 in my pocket. So, you know, I. But I had a lot of dreams and what I thought was a successful life and and, uh, and what I uh, wanted to do. And I spent all those years down there and nothing happened. And it was not because opportunities didn't come my way, but nothing happened. And, and uh, there was guys down there playing for tips and then, then bars down there, and they had a, a machine called an auto orchestra. It was like a one-man band, you run with your feet. And uh, well, I wish I could find one of them now. Things are kind of neat, but they're, they're yeah. But, but I guess so I could run that machine. And them guys always love to see me come through the door because I get up there, I'm making them tips, and they at the bar. Yeah. But, uh, but I, uh, none of them guys ever hired me for a shift down there in Holland. And uh, anyway, and, uh, and at one point I wrote this song, and uh, it starts out, it says, I came here with nothing, I must confess, I'm leaving now with just a little bit less. No, that's quite a line. But you know, I felt that way, I did. I, you know, when I left, I just, I felt like Nashville had robbed me of something, and you know, I, I felt empty. And I just felt, felt like, you know, all my hopes and dreams were gone. And I came back here, and I don't know, for two, three years I didn't play anything. I just, I just didn't even care anymore to look at a guitar. But I couldn't leave it alone. It's something that God has put in me. And, uh, but I look back on it now, and I know why nothing happened. It's because that the Lord had a different direction for me. If anything would happen down there, I wouldn't be here. You know, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing right now. But you know what? This is where God wants me to be. This is what He's called me to do. You know, is to give that testimony of what He has done in my life. Because it's all about Him. It's not about me. I don't want it to be about me. You know, because without Him, I'm nothing. But, uh, thank you. It really is. But I, anyway, I wrote this song called Run Down the Road. And... I kind of left all the guys down more Broadway with kind of standing with their mouth open because it was just the way I felt. Get there. 
get out of here.